We've taken material that was destined for the wood chip pile that was going to China to make paper. It stands out in this city block. I'm pretty proud of the whole building from a Tasmanian point of view and a sustainability and a specialist build. Our floor looks magnificent. I, I love it. A high rise made almost entirely from timber. The story of Tasmania's first timber high rise starts here with eucalyptus nitens. Millions of eucalyptus nitens were planted in the 1990s to feed the pulp mills. Now going into the Tasmanian engineered timber products. The strength of engineered mass timber is equal to concrete and steel, but it also absorbs the greenhouse gas carbon. A mass timber beam involves placing pieces of timber on top of each other, sometimes perpendicular. In some of the bigger beams, it's layer upon layer upon layer, up to 28 layers with glue, making it as strong as steel. Researchers at the University of Tasmania have been analysing and testing engineered timber for decades. They're confident the fledgling building product is here to stay. We've got at least four or five happening in other capital cities. And so, um, yeah, we've got past infancy. We've got past proof of concept. We're now getting to the thing where it is a contender. The only red flag, the price to build, is about 30% higher than traditional products. The direct cost is more, without question, but the speed of construction has really surprised us as well. So we erected five levels of mass timber in three months, whereas if that was traditional concrete and steel, it would have been at least double that. A price the owners were willing to pay for sustainability.